Let's discuss something about our minds. Let's discuss something about our minds. All right? I've already treated the concept about our might and our minds online already. All right? So check the organic chemistry course online. You'll see the lecture on our minds. For this particular session, I want to show you the difference between a primary, secondary, and a tertiary and mind. That's it. All right? Take that, please. Take that, please. Primary, secondary, tertiary, and quaternary amines. Let's start with primary. Now listen please. Listen please. Primary amine, take that please. A primary amine is an amine where the nitrogen is it, is an amine where the nitrogen is attached to just one alkyl group or one organic substituent. Let's this is that, that term is a primary amine is a kind of amine where the nitrogen is attached to just one organic substituent just one organic substituent just one organic substituent just one organic substituent When it comes to the amines, right, listen, I want to show you something. When it comes to the amines, you'll be seeing dots. In some cases, you see two dots, as you can see, two dots. In some cases, you see one dot. In some cases, no dots. So how do we know how many dots the end should carry for each case? Very simple. Nitrogen is atomic number what? Atomic number seven. Give me the KLMN configuration. What do you have there? Two, five. Nitrogen will always have five connections there. This is nitrogen here. That becomes one. This is one. Two hydrogen. Two, three, two dots. Four, five. That's it. I'll do it again. I'll put one dot. You should be able to know why it's one dot. Let's move on, please. Number two. Secondary are mine. That's primary. Let's look at secondary amine. For a secondary amine, for a secondary amine, the nitrogen is attached to two organic substituents. For a secondary amine, the nitrogen is attached to two organic substituents. For a secondary amine, the nitrogen is attached to two organic substituents. With that being said, the structure I have on the board, is it correct or is it wrong? What about the board? Is it correct or is it wrong? No. Huh? No. What's wrong? No. I said each nitrogen you have over there. Five. This one already has one, two, three, four, five, six. I will take off this one and do this. This is correct. Please note this thing. We'll use them. So, this H now can still be written as this downward H. See, correct. That's now 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. See, correct. Say the same thing. So, it's NH, not NH2. Please take this, get this correctly. We'd we'll need this for something else later. This is secondary amine. Let's get a. 
tertiary amine. Let's get the tertiary amine. Sorry. Okay. If nitrogen needs how many bonds for it to be stable? How many did you mention? How many? Five. This one here has how many electrons here? You have what there? One. How many here? Two. One plus these two here, how many? Three. Four. Five. Come here. This one has one attachment, two attachment connected to hydrogen. I said this one can still come here like this. It now has one, two, three. Okay, I had H2 first time. And I will say it's not correct. If it's H2 here, that's um, H2 becomes H and uh, under H per se. That's H2. This would now be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. It's not correct. That's what I'm trying to say. So you take off only this and just put NH. Now it's now 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It's now correct. So you have this. That's what I was saying. Yes, you. Is that? Uh, what if I move dot instead of this? That would still work. That would still work. Depending on the case, anyways. What I'm giving here is just uh, what's it called? A structure. I'm not doing a full compound now. It's just a structure that could still work, depending on. You you know. Listen, sorry, I don't have the time. There's a thin line between amine and amides. There's a thin line between alkanals. Alkanons and carboxylic acid, very thin lines. If I do this, you're taking me off the whole point. Look at this. The value of R1 and R2 will determine if this carbon, if this particular compound is an alkanal or what there, aldehyde. Alkanols are also called what there, alcohols. Alkanals are also called what there? Aldehydes. Alkanons are also called what there? Ketones. Carboxylic acid are also called what there? Alkanoic acid. She know these things now. Go by cause, you know, go agree. No, go agree. They are there in that course. If this man is H, for instance, now, what do you have here? You have an alkanal. If this man is a radical like this, like this, what do you have here? An alkanon or ketone. If this man is an OH, what do you have here? A carboxylic acid. So, talking about what if I remove the dots, there's a thin line. I, I can't give you a direct answer. There are ifs attached to it, but for now, leave it there, please. I'm not, I'm not doing that for now. There are ifs attached to it. So, let, let's leave that part. Back to what we're doing, please. Tertiary, let's do tertiary, tertiary at continental, then we'll go on break. Tertiary amine. A tertiary amine is an amine where the nitrogen, a tertiary amine is an amine where the nitrogen, an amine where the nitrogen is attached to three um, organic substituents. So you have nitrogen you have um one two three please this should be just radicals anyways then you have this and this please confirm that this structure on the board makes sense it does right how this is look up now this is now listen in an actual sense in an actual sense this should actually be a radical Forget I'm doing this. This is just to illustrate something. What I should have here should have been R2. That's an alkyl group or an aryl group. Where R1 and R2 are simply organic substituents. That's the best to write this. This one here would now be R. Where R is an organic substituent. Here. This is. R1, R2, three different attachments, and you have this. So, tertiary. This structure is it correct? Yes. One, two, three, four, five. 
The last one there, quaternary. I'm coming, please. Quaternary. Quaternary are mine. For quaternary are mine, what you now have is this. You have nitrogen attached to what's there. Four different, or let's just say four, four alkyl groups, organic substituents. This is R1. How do I position this? Chief, have you seen the answer to your question? When I was asking me, this is the answer to the question here. Do you have something here? For the amines, the hydrogen must first be used up first before the dots are used up. So before I started touching the dots here, or using the dots, I first of all made sure that I did what there, exhausted my what? Hydrogen. That's it. All right, so this is about primary, secondary, um, tertiary, and quaternary amine. I've discussed the concept of amines, amides, aldehyde, ketones in the course. Go and get it, please. You'll see them in your level 200, I'm telling you. Go and get it. Anyways, I think that's about this. Um, All right, guys. Don't forget that you can get the complete organic chemistry course on my website. Simply visit www.jonahimani.com forward slash courses, and then you see the organic chemistry full course. All right? It gives you access to my detailed lecture on all the homologous series from alkanes, alkenes, alkynes, alcohols, ether, esters, including their nomenclature, their preparation, and all the reactions they undergo. All right, or you can simply join my organic chemistry channel membership to get access to these video lessons. All right.